Hi friends, Allison here, back to share with you a new scrapbook layout process. Today's layout is a mixed media layout and it was also created with my Cricut Explorer. So I used the packaging technique to do my mixed media watercoloring in the background. I did that off camera because I was working on my hand stitching while it dried. I let it air dry instead of using my heat tool to speed up the drying process. And then once it was dry, I went back and added some splatter to the background as well. So I hand stitched the snowflake die cut that you see right now. And I'm going to add some other snowflakes on top of it and around it. And the large one that I just put at the top of the page is actually going to be where my photo goes. I'm going to cut my photo into a shape. It's going to be a circle, um, but I'll do that in a little bit. And then I'll do that off camera as well, actually. So there's my picture. It's just a picture of a blanket that is in our living room. It kind of floats around between couches and chairs and that sort of thing in our living room. But I wanted to share a story about being warm and cozy on those cold days. And the story behind it, for me at least, is um, how I'm always cold or always have a chill. And I have either a sweater on or socks and slippers and cuddled with a blanket. That's just how I roll. <laughs> And so that was the story that I wanted to tell in today's layout. So I'm just adding my additional snowflakes. I cut them from white cardstock and pebbles, so it's a really light gray cardstock as well. And I'm going to add these green sage color hearts over top. And I stitched those as well in with embroidery thread that was a fairly close color to the cardstock. Um, to look at it it doesn't it looks more blue than it does green but it was a really good match so that's what I used now I'm just attaching my title I cut that with my Cricut as well and it reads warm and cozy and I thought it was perfect for this type of theme for a layout I love that font too it's so pretty if you want to recreate this layout yourself um, you will be able to find it eventually in the Cricut community. I'll include the link in the description box down below um, so you can save it for your own crafting. Please only use it for personal crafting. Um, my designs are not for sale. Um, and that's just really for those that want to use it for personal uh, reasons. I'm adding my journaling now. This layout came together very quickly, by the way, so I'm just about done. I'm adding my journaling, and I used my journaling hack to add my journaling as well. I wrote them out on some white cardstock, trimmed them down, and I'm just adding them to the layout now with some foam squares that I trimmed in half so that they were skinny enough to put behind my strips and you can see the garbage all over my desk <laughs> that was from the strips it created a lot of garbage so I'm just finishing up the journaling right now I'm going to stamp the date below the journaling and pretty well like the layout is done I don't really add anything else to the layout except for a couple of Tim Holtz phrase stickers and yeah that completes the layout I really only added the Tim Holtz phrase stickers because I used um, like peaches and neutral colors for the stitching in the large half snowflake die cut. I really regretted using that color for the stitching, but in the end it worked out because the Tim Holtz phrase stickers are neutral in color anyways, so it ended up tying everything together in the end. And so happy accident. Mainly the reason why I used those colored threads in that snowflake, which I used three different ones, by the way, because I kept running out, <laughs> um, is because I don't have any gray. I have really dark gray and I didn't want to use a really dark gray. I wanted something light. So that is the reasoning behind that. I have close-ups coming up, so make sure you stick around for that. And thank you so much for joining me again today on my channel and hanging out with me for a little bit. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. 
And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe consider doing that. You just need to hit the little bell. Otherwise, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and a like. I'll be back again soon with more inspiration.